Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be stepping you through how to rebuild the Tony Cup brake system off a Rookie 900. Now, this is a BSM system, but it's pretty similar to some of the earlier Tony Cup systems that you're going to find on your retro carts. Now, they are gaining in popularity both here in Australia and around the world. And when you get stuck with this problem, like we have here today, where the seals are leaking, the brake fluid's contaminated, this is the process you're going to step through to clean all the system, install some new seals, some new pads, and generally make this like brand new. So let's get into the video. Before we start, I'd just like to throw a special mention out to all our Patreons and YouTube members. We really appreciate that little bit extra. And to everyone else out there that's been asking about the hoodies for this winter, you can buy them off the YouTube store right below. So click on those and grab yourself a t-shirt or a hoodie. So to start the process off, we've removed the calipers and the master cylinder from the go-kart and we've come over to our workbench. And now with the four millimeter Allen key, we're just gonna remove the pad retaining screws and the springs that hold the brake pad into the calipers. Now, as you can see, the brake pads have worn a little bit and we've been installing some shims. And then on the shims, you can see all the brake fluid that's been leaking out of the calipers, which will indicate that the seals are absolutely knackered and need replacing. So what you can do with your old shim is just clean them up and keep them as spares because we are gonna be putting in new brake pads. These ones have been contaminated with oil and they wouldn't be much chop because even though we could clean this um, brake face, the oil soaks into the porous material of the brake pads and it's going to give you less than awesome braking. So these ones in the bin, brand new set going in. Now as you can see, I'm pumping the pistons of the master cylinder and the air and, and fluid is just coming out around those pistons. So it's going to make it a bit tricky to get that piston out, but I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. So let's see if Old Faithful is going to work. So to relieve any pressure that might be in the system at all, I'm going to try to extract that piston out in a second. I'm just going to take out the bleed nipple. So the first job I like to try to do to get these out, or the first method, is to get a pair of circlip pliers and I can just open them up and really just try to get that piston to move. Now this one is really stuck. So the next best method is to use some compressed air through the fitting and we'll see if we can blow these pistons out of the calipers. The next escalation in the procedure of removing these pistons the easy way is to remove this brake line with the 12 millimeter. Now they can be pretty tight and if that's the case you can go over to a, um, a bench vise and hold the caliper otherwise you can loosen these brake lines while they're still on the cart. Now that we've tried method one, which was to relieve the pressure and pull the piston out using the circlips, we're gonna to have to put the bleed screw back in. We're gonna introduce some compressed air into the system through the, the brake line elbow. And we're just gonna use a little bit of a uh, rag here to try to catch all the fluid that could be spraying around. and also sealing up the system. But as you can see, that piston isn't moving at all because it's just calcified brake fluid in here and it's a real stubborn process. But I do have another escalation in the process uh, that requires a bit more work, so let's step you through that. Now, before we remove the elbow, it's a good idea to scribe a little line here in the orientation of the way it was so that when we reassemble the brakes we can get this guy back on the right angle so that it all fits back on the go-kart perfectly. With the elbow removed we've got access to the back of the or well, the inside of the caliper here and what we can do is we can put a pin punch down through there and then actually push the piston out of the out of the caliper. So now we can insert the pin punch through the caliper and then using a mallet, we can just hit that piston and the seal straight out. And if it's still a bit stuck, we can just give it another little tappy. There you go. 
Boom, piston, seal removed. As you can see, the caliper is not in a good way here. There's a lot of gummed up old brake fluid. But because the seal app actually operates down in this area, once we clean it up, it should be pretty good. And with some new lip seals, or well, these are actually cup seals, um, this system's gonna work like brand new. Just remember kids, safety never takes a holiday. So for the initial cleanup, I'm just using a bit of degreaser and carefully scraping some of the brake dust and brake fluid away with a blunt and off screwdriver. And that gets rid of most of the gunk. And then at the end, I'm gonna get some clean rag and some brake cleaner and, and actually clean the whole system. You can also use methylated spirits as it's alcohol based and it evaporates away, leaving no oily residues. <laughs> Now that we've got everything spotlessly clean, we're ready for our new seal. And before we put that in, we're gonna apply some rubber grease down into the caliper, just like so. As you can see, that's all in there. Now we can slide our little seal in. Okay, that's what gives us the hydraulic pressure. And, you know, it activates the pressure onto this piston and gives us our brake pressure. So pop the new piston in and we're ready to install the new brake pad. So now we're ready to put the elbow back into the caliper, screw in the bleed nipple, and also too we can install the new pad while we're here with the pad retaining screws and springs. So now that we've completed the first side, just repeat the same process on the other side. So in the interest of having awesome brakes when we're on the racetrack, now that we've done the rear calipers, we might as well replace the seals in the master cylinders as well. With the brake lines already removed, we're just going to undo the discharge plug using a five millimeter Allen key. And now we can remove the circlip that holds the piston inside the master cylinder. Remove the piston and there we can see the seal has got a little bit of rust and contamination on it. You can see we've got all sorts of contamination down there on the seal so we're just gonna replace that. Now that's a pretty simple job. We're just gonna remove this spring. So with a pick that is not sharp anymore we can try to get down under this little guy here. I'm trying to do it on camera as best I can. It is a bit of a mission to hold it so that you can see. But I've just got to get this guy down underneath the seal. Next step is to clean the piston, just using some clean rag. And just in case you're wondering, the seal has to have the lip in the direction of the pressure that you're trying to make. Now this one here gets pushed down the cylinder like so. And so we're trying to make pressure on this front side of the seal. So don't put the seal in like that, otherwise she won't work. Okay, we need the direction of travel going down the cylinder to make pressure. So with the seal down in the groove like this, we've got to stretch it over the piston. And I'm just going to use my blunt and off pick again. Okay, so we're just going to try to work that seal down onto the piston, just like that. So now we're gonna clean the master cylinder with some brake cleaner, ready to install the piston with the new seal on it.
Right, we're ready for the reinstallation of all our clean and prepared parts. So the first thing we're going to do is put the spring back onto the piston and we're going to lube this seal up using some rubber grease as well. Now to finish this job off like a boss, we are going to remove the old discharge plug o-ring and put ourselves a nice brand new one. And then that guy there is going to absolutely work perfectly when she's back on the go-kart and hitting the track. So now that we've completed the rebuilding process, we would repeat that for the other half as well. Then we're ready to install them back on the go-kart and bleed the system. Now we have done brake bleeding before on other videos. You can search our library and find those. They're really helpful on getting the understandings of how to bleed a brake, a Tony car brake system. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for tuning in again. Also a special shout out again to all our Patreons and YouTube members. If you haven't had enough of us by now, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. We can go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt. And we'll see you in the next video.